What's going on Guardians, it's Tizzle here, and in today's video, I'm going to be dissecting the bipod perk and letting you know if it is going to be a viable DPS option next season. Why next season you ask? Well, if you didn't know, this week Bungie released a developer insight blog, and in said blog they stated that they are buffing the perk bipod. Bipod is a new perk on rockets that gives you two rockets in a magazine and greater reserve ammo at the cost of damage, blast radius, and reload speed. It currently does 40% less damage than a base rocket, so it's quite weak but next season, this damage reduction will be 25%. So with the power of math, we can go over some damage numbers to see if it will be a viable perk going forward. But before we do that, I just need to go over a few things before we get into the numbers. There are currently two meta rockets right now in Cold Comfort and Apex Predator that have auto-loading functionality or magazine overflowing perks, allowing for great burst DPS and high damage DPS rotations that involve not reloading the rocket at all. This comparison is going to be strictly on rocket shot damage, if you are a high-end player that knows how to use these damage combos and DPS rotations, then you will undoubtedly benefit from one of the two meta rockets with bait and switch. This video is more to just see where bipod will sit after the buff for straight rocket damage. One big advantage bipod has is with the perk reconstruction, you can shoot four shots in a magazine. However, cold comfort can also do this with envious assassin and the right setup before damage. So again, I just wanted to stress that this video will be more focused on the damage perks of rockets to see where bipod will fit after the new sandbox update on Tuesday. So we will be testing three apex predators today, a crafted one with enhanced reconstruction, enhanced bait and switch and impact casing, another one with reconstruction, bipod and impact casing, and an explosive light reconstruction one without impact casing. If you aren't aware, impact casing increases the impact damage of the rocket by 10%, which amounts to an overall damage increase of about 2.2%. So with the explosive light rocket tests, I'll just be doing some basic math to assume what the theoretical value would be with impact casing. And lastly, we will test the clown cartridge rocket because it is the most similar to bipod in that it shoots off two rockets with every reload, but it doesn't have the damage penalty, but it also has less reserves than a bipod rocket. So for the purpose of this video, it is relevant to test. And lastly, all tests were performed with no spec mods and no surges. So with that out of the way, let's take a look at baseline damage. And then, because we are testing rocket DPS, we will include wolfpack rounds because you will always be dealing damage with a Galahorn on the team if you are using rockets. So the bipod rocket with impact casing hits for 52,948 damage with one rocket. And after the buff, this number should be 66,185 damage. To get this number, I took the base rocket damage from my bait and switch rocket launcher to see that it hits for 88,246 damage and then 60% of that is 52,948. So knowing this, we take that number and now multiply it by 0.75 instead of 0.6. That gives us 66,185. So as long as Bungie is true to their word on the damage buff it is getting, then this will be the new damage of Bipod. But Bungie has messed up in the past. When they nerfed Winter's Guile and Worm God's Caress damage stacking, they said it would top out at 3.5x damage, but in reality and after testing, that number is actually 3.75x. So I just want to be clear, I am arriving at these numbers through math and trusting what Bungie said in the blog post is accurate. With that disclaimer out of the way, let's look at the next damage perk, Explosive Light. An Explosive Light rocket without impact casing hits for 107,765 damage, and with impact casing this total would be 110,146. Next we have a bait and switch rocket which hits for 119,132 damage with the perk proc. And lastly, the damage of my hothead with clown cartridge and impact casing is also 88,246, the same as a base apex predator shot. Now that we have established a baseline of one rocket, we will go over those same rockets with wolf pack rounds. Wolf pack rounds deal 8 additional damage numbers from the wolf pack rounds, 4 big numbers and 4 small numbers. So I will total up those 8 numbers and then add them to the base rocket damage that we already established. So on the bipod rocket, our wolf pack rounds hit for 547 and 1171 damage. This totals up to 6872 more damage per rocket. After the buff, this damage should go up to about 8590 damage depending on rounding, meaning the total damage of one bipod rocket with wolf pack rounds after the buff will be 74,775. For a clown cartridge rocket launcher, our wolf pack rounds hit for 911 and 1951. That adds up to 11,448 damage, bringing one clown cartridge rocket damage to 99,694. Next, we can look at explosive light. Wolfpack rounds do not scale with the explosive light perk. 
Therefore, the wolf pack rounds hit for the same as the clown cartridge rocket at 11,448 more damage on each rocket, bringing our explosive light total damage to 121,594. Next, we look at bait and switch, and this number is buffed by wolf pack rounds. Additionally, on the first rocket to proc bait and switch, you will get the extra damage to your wolf pack rounds, so the higher damage wolf packs will count for every rocket. These rounds hit very hard at 2634 and 1229 damage, totaling 15,452 extra damage from your wolf pack rounds, bringing the total damage of a wolf pack buff bait and switch rocket to 134,584. That is almost 80% more damage than a bipod rocket. So total damage, bait and switch will definitely win out, but now that we have established those baseline numbers, we can look at actual DPS. Again, this is not even taking damage rotation and auto reloading perks into account, just straight rocket dumping. We'll be using max reserves so that we can get an accurate depiction of what a somewhat realistic boss damage scenario would be. I'm also using Lunafaction boots and all the testing for faster reloads. And on the clown cartridge test, I have field prep. This gives a slightly quicker reload than the other rockets. But with those caveats out of the way, let's look at how long it takes to dump all of our rocket reserves for each test. So we'll start with clown cartridge because that is the closest comparison to bipod rockets. We can shoot off our 10 rockets in 14.95 seconds. I know the time code says 1457, but that is frames and not seconds. So a simple math, 57 divided by 60 gives us 0.95. The same will be applied to all tests going forward. The total damage of 10 rockets is 882,460, which gives us a base DPS of 59,027. And with Wolfpack rounds, the total damage jumps to 996,940 and gives us a DPS of 66,685. Not bad at all for a simple rocket dump. So next, let's look at the perk that I am most curious about, Bipod. Starting off, thanks to reconstruction, we have four in the mag, so it will output some decent damage right off the rip. It takes us 20.416 repeating seconds to dump all 14 rockets. The base total damage before the buff would be 741,272, and with Wolfpack rounds, 837,480, giving us a base DPS of just 36,307, and a Wolfpack Enhanced DPS of 41,019. But post buff, the numbers are a little better. We get a base total damage of 926,590 and a Wolfpack rounds total damage of 1,046,850. And the DPS numbers jump up to 45,384 at base and with Wolfpack we get 51,274. So while it is still a 25% improvement from before the buff, it still lags behind greatly. Its DPS is 30% worse than Clown Cartridge, and even with having 4 extra rockets, its total damage is only 50,000 more than a God Roll Hothead with Field Prep and Clown Cartridge. To put it another way, the Hothead deals almost the same total damage in 4 fewer rockets and 5.5 less seconds. But I did mention one advantage it has, which is 4 rockets in the mag, so if we just look at a quick mag dump if you had reconstruction, that takes 2.65 seconds, and with the upcoming buff and Wolfpack rounds, that would give you a total damage of 299,100 in 2.65 seconds, for a DPS of 112,868. So for a god roll rocket with reconstruction and bipod, maybe there is a DPS rotation out there where you can dump 4 quick rockets and swap to something else to deal damage while reconstruction reloads your magazine back to 4. But as far as just a rocket dump perk, clown cartridge is far better for DPS, which I sort of expected. So we have one potential use case for a bipod, but it is dependent on reconstruction. Without that, clown cartridge is just flat out better. So on something like my Braytech Osprey or Cold Comfort where I have DPS god rolls with ensemble and field prep to help reload speed, it still won't matter because clown cartridge is simply better. And I've heard it's next to impossible to get a Cold Comfort with Envious Assassin and bipod, but if that role does exist, then maybe you have something there with some setup. So now let's take a look at explosive light and bait and switch damage numbers and see what we are working with. At base it will deal 110,146 damage and 121,594 with wolf pack rounds. So let's say you have 6 explosive light shots because you can't hold more than that. You can dump 6 rockets in 11.7 seconds. With wolf pack rounds that will deal 62,356 damage. Then say you have regular rockets for your final 3 shots. Factoring in the reload after your 6th shot, the DPS of the final 3 rockets will only be 36,622. The total damage of 9 rockets with wolfpack rounds and 6 of them being explosive light shots will be 1,028,646. You can shoot them off in 19.88333 seconds, therefore the total DPS is 51,734. 
that is still slightly more DPS than Bipod, and if you optimize to pick up 3 orbs after you shoot off at least 3 explosive light rockets so that you have 9 explosive light shots, your DPS will be 55,038, and you will have shot off your rockets slightly quicker than with Bipod. One thing I want to quickly mention is I didn't do any lasting impression testing because it doesn't roll on Apex Predator, and in the case of Explosive Light, it would be slightly better because you don't have to worry about picking up 3 orbs during DPS, but overall, Lasting Impression will have lower DPS than Explosive Light on the first 6 shots, but slightly more DPS on 9 shots unless, as I mentioned, you optimize and pick up 3 orbs, and then in that case, Explosive Light will be slightly better than Lasting Impression. But it just gives you kind of a baseline for where Lasting Impression would stand. And lastly, we have the new King of Rocket DPS, and that is a bait and switch rocket launcher. I don't have the god roll cold comfort, but that one will usually win out in burst DPS thanks to being able to fire off 4 rockets with the right setup, and it can also be enhanced by Balador's Wrath Weavers. However, the Apex Predator bait and switch rocket has reconstruction, making it better in a damage rotation for the auto loading functionality. Even though you could also reload cold comfort by killing enemies if the DPS scenario allows you to do so. Also, Cold Comfort can hold one more rocket reserve than Apex Predator, but either way, Reconstruction Bait and Switch is a top meta option right now for DPS. And again, for this testing, I am just focused on rocket dumping, not on damage rotations. That being said, you do have to shoot your other weapons to activate Bait and Switch. It is a perk that lasts for 10 seconds, so in this testing, I will be reprocking it partway through. I will also not include the damage of the other two weapons, even though in a real scenario, that would help your damage output. I also do not have dexterity mods on for switching weapons, so the first shot will do base rocket damage. I will shoot a few rockets off, reproc bait and switch, and then shoot the rest off. So accounting for two rockets not being buffed by bait and switch, which is likely what would happen in a real DPS scenario, that means we have two rockets hitting at base damage. So those two rockets would hit for 88,246, and their wolfpack rounds would be buffed by bait and switch, so that would add 15,452 for a total damage of 102,698 per rocket. The other 7 rockets will be enhanced by bait and switch, hitting for 134,584 damage per rocket, giving us a total damage of 1,147,484. Again, this does not include damage from the other weapons we are using to proc bait and switch, but people will often use an Izanagi's Burden Honed Edge shot in a damage rotation, but just on rocket damage, this takes us 20.216 repeating seconds to pull off potentially with a bit of user error not being perfectly optimal. For a DPS of 56,759, that is more than 9 explosive light shots. So here's all the DPS values on screen. The king of rocket dumping is clown cartridge at 66,685 DPS thanks to loading 2 rockets in the mag with every reload and not having a damage penalty like bipod. Next you have bait and switch at 56,759 DPS, but this doesn't account for the damage from your other weapons to proc bait and switch, so depending on your damage rotation, this number could be quite a bit higher. But just for rocket damage, that is pretty great. Next we have Explosive Light. We'll be generous and say you can optimize your DPS setup enough to pick up 3 orbs mid DPS rotation for 9 Explosive Light shots. That DPS will come in at 55,038. And lastly we have Bipod at 51,274. Much better than it was before the buff at only 41,019. And as I mentioned, maybe there is a play where you can dump 4 rockets thanks to reconstruction where it deals 112,868 DPS. But aside from that, I still don't see this perk being meta next season. Certainly not for boss DPS. There are so many ways to quickly reload now. Threat of Ascent Grenade Reload on Strand, Radiant Dance Machine Hunters, Reign of Fire Warlocks. That increases the rocket DPS massively because reloading is what kills the DPS of rockets. Cold Comfort firing off 4 rockets quickly, Reconstruction passively reloading while you deal damage with other weapons, that all makes it an even worse reason to use Bipod. Because Bipod's advantage is that it can load 2 in the magazine with every reload. But if you can reload super quickly, or not have to reload at all thanks to Reconstruction and having a damage rotation, then that advantage gets nullified. And on top of all that, I just watched a video from Aegis yesterday that talked about how Wolfpack rounds deal more damage with the more people that you have using rockets. I will let him explain. How much damage is each rocket doing to the health bar when only one person is shooting? How about two? Or five? What I found was impressive but not surprising. With one person shooting, Pack Hunter adds an expected 33% to base rocket damage. However, with multiple people shooting, things start to change and change fast. With two people, the number jumps to 64%. With three, 70%. 
4, 75%, and finally, 5. The most common number for raids, besides Galley itself, which we'll talk about in a second, caps out at 81%. Let that sink in for a second. According to Health Bar Damage Testing, the most accurate measure we have, Pack Hunter provides not 30, not 50, but 81% more damage per rocket when in a full sized fire team. So basically what this means is that the higher the damage of the wolf pack rounds, the better you will be. And Bipod will have the lowest wolf pack round numbers because it hits for 25% less than a regular rocket. Where Bait and Switch has increased damage on wolf pack rounds, dealing 35% more. So that extra wolf pack damage scales. Therefore, for total damage output, Bait and Switch is definitely the king. And if you can learn DPS rotations, reloading won't be an issue. And if you just want a rocket dump, Clown Cartridge is the way to go. And as long as you are reprocking bait and switch, then even if you are just rocket dumping in between, it is still better than bipod. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful and informative. I know it was very number heavy, but I hope it gave some insight into the coming bipod buff. Like I said, maybe there will be a niche use case because it can fire four rockets quickly, but the damage of those four rockets isn't even as much as a fully charged parasite shot. So basically every way you can think to use it, there's another weapon that does that job better. Again, Cold Comfort can also fire 4 shots in quick succession, but deals way greater damage. But who knows, the Destiny community is very smart, so maybe they'll come up with a scenario where Bipod shines. But that'll do it for me. If you watched this far, then I appreciate you watching to the end, it means a whole lot. And if you want more helpful content like this, then be sure to subscribe. I actually just lost my job, so I'm hoping to be able to have a lot more time to pump out good Destiny content. Maybe it is a blessing in disguise. Anyways, thanks again for watching, and take care.